Hi everybody, I'm Nancy with Power for Parkinson's and I'm coming to you from Austin, Texas, right here in our Power for Parkinson's office slash studio. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about shifting weight. Shifting weight, as those of you who know me know, I include this in every single one of my classes. So I teach both a strength and balance, more fitness-based class, and also rhythm and moves, which is a more dance-based class. But I always include weight shifting because I feel that it's so important for people with Parkinson's and other movement disorders as well. So recently I did a dance about surfing and I came up with this movement. So we have our legs open, feet are apart. This is a wide base. That also means that we have a better chance of balancing if we're on a wide base here or even here. And I have my hands out like this. So if I were on a surfboard, my hands would be here, yes, and I might be moving around a little bit, but for our purposes, we're just going to shift back and forth. So we shift a little bit toward the front leg, then toward the back leg, to the front and to the back. Now, if this bothers your knees, you don't have to have a big knee bend, just a micro bend but you wanna shift into the front leg and shift into the back leg. In this particular shift of weight, both knees are bent. So shift, 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 shift. So we have a wide base of support and we have our hands out, which means that if we were to fall, our hands would be there to catch us. Let's try it on the other side. So now we have the opposite foot front and we're bending our knees slightly and shifting back and forth. Just feel what that feels like. So you're really kind of testing the waters <laughs> and finding where your balance is. Good. All right, come back. And now I like to often add a push so we go from a shift either into one position or back and forth back to a centered position so if i were standing behind a chair i might shift out to the side bend one leg and then push back to center notice my heels are touching and then go to the other i'm bending the outside knee and pushing back that push is important. So we shift, we push back to center, we shift, we push back to center. When you push back to center, your core muscles and your balance awareness comes back to you and says, oh, I gotta stay right here in the center. I gotta stay right here in the center. I'm not throwing myself over there. Yes, shift and shift. Sometimes we shift back. So sometimes we step back and forward. Step back and forward. Holding a chair sometimes, back and forward, back and forward. Now, stepping back is difficult for a lot of people with Parkinson's. It's scary for all of us. It's not comfortable for most of us to walk backwards or even to step backwards because we can't see what's behind us. So when you're doing something where you need to shift backwards, you need to know that there's nothing back there. Or maybe there's a chair back there that you feel with the backs of your legs. If you're back to the surfing position, which is a nice wide stance, you can shift, 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 shift. Now we're gonna push back 
to center. Shift, 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 push back to center. Let's do it again. Shift, 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 push back to center. There's that center, core is working, balance mechanisms in, in your brain are on fire. Left side, shift, 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 back to center. And there again, you find that center. Center means that everything is back along a plumb line, an imaginary plumb line that might have been dropped from the top of your head and goes through the center of your body. So when we're doing our shifts of weight, we are challenging those balance mechanisms and finding that center place that's so important for us. And it's important for us to challenge ourselves in Parkinson's through shifting of weight. A wide stance is always better, but we also need to practice a narrow stance. Yes? So, notice when you take the classes, how many times you will see us shifting weight. It's really important. It also wakes up your feet and allows you to understand what's happening in your feet and your legs, as well as where your torso is. That comes into proprioception, which has a tendency to disappear with Parkinson's. That's an awareness of where you are in space and where you are in relationship to another object or a person. So again, shifting weight pushes back the, the tendency to make that proprioception disappear and it allows you to push your brain forward and say, yes, I still know how to do this. Lots of value in a simple shift of weight. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much.